Hello there, this is Lauren from Bold Notion Quilting, and I'm going to show you the last of three designs that we had for the fall designs. We're going to do the spider web and the spider. You can alter the spider web and the spider however you want, do multiple spider webs and then spiders, or spider web, spider, spider web, spider. Um, it's a very simple line design geometric, so it's you know great for Halloween, but it's also great on boy stuff. So we're just going to take our line out, and we're going to make four a regular triangle. Try to land back in the middle if you can. Then when you get to the middle, you go up and you just dot to dot a swoop on each line until you've done enough quilting. Then when you get to here, when you get to here, you're going to continue out with like a swoop, gentle curve kind of thing, not necessarily an S curve or anything like that. And then you're going to do a circle for the spider's body, do some legs, Then I like to go to his butt and come out. Then when you get to the middle of your next spider web, you're gonna do a regular triangle. And you can follow the spider web however you want. Someone did make a point. Um, I like them goofy like this, but if you make your left sides a little bit smaller, if you're going from the left to the right and the right sides are bigger, it looks like you complete your spider web more when you finish. So then you travel up the line. And then just gentle bumps. And remember, you're bumping with the curve toward the middle of the spider web. And you want to try to get those points right on those lines. And then when you get to one of your triangles, you just go out that point. Do another ball. Spider web, oops, spider legs. This one does require some backtracking, so I hope you feel comfortable with that. So if you alter your spider web and your spider, it gives more of a nested all over look. To me it looks a little more complete. And you always want your spider web to go in the direction that you're going to want to exit. So I'm going around my spider web from the right to the left because I want to exit left. Probably doing this more times than I normally would. And then I got to the side of my um, irregular triangle that I first made. So I just do a little gentle curve. I personally like the lines better when they come from the top of the spider. Because then they don't look awkwardly placed. But you get the idea. And you don't have to do four of these. You could do three if you wanted. Bump around. Now I'm at the tip of my regular triangle and I go out to do my next spider. And I'm sure if you can make fancier spiders than this, that'd be cool. And then travel to your edge and tack off. So there you have it. Those are our spiders and spider webs. And that completes our it, three days worth of tutorials for the fall designs. If there are any other designs that y'all can think of, please don't hesitate to message me on my Bold Notion Quilting Facebook page, or you can message me on my YouTube site. I did get that changed to Bold Notion Quilting. You can follow me on Instagram at Bold Notion Quilting so you can get more of these cute little tutorials as I post them. Uh, make sure if you have the ability to follow the Facebook page, you follow the Facebook page so that when I drop these, your Facebook will alert you and tell you. Um, please like and share the videos. Share, share, share so that uh, more people can get the information. I just like to help people learn free motion quilting. So I do what I can, but um, if y'all don't share, 
we don't spread the word. So thank you guys so much for watching and take care. God bless. Happy, uh, happy Halloween sewing. And when you guys finish your projects, please post them. I love to see them. I'm so excited to share with you guys, but I'm even more excited to see what you guys complete. Take care. Bye-bye.